Hello, this is Doug with Cripple Creek Backcountry, and today we're looking at the Scarpa Quattro. Newest boot from Scarpa, uh, in their highest like pinnacle spot for hardest charging, best performing boot. Uh, it's 130 flex. It's the first time in a few years since the Scarpa Freedom that they've really gone to a full Alpine overlap. And yeah, it's just a really light, cool boot that, that really has surprised me. Uh, I saw some prototypes of this as early as like two years ago, and it's taken for a while for them to refine it. What I noticed the most about this boot is it has the grip walk sole, and then it also it just has a very spelt lower. It's not at all like bubbly like the older Mistrali or really any other walk to ride boot we're seeing on the market. The other things I really like about the boot so far are it has really intuitive buckles, so if you're coming from the Alpine world, you're not going to be putting an origami puzzle together every time you fold the cuff up. And then it has a fully sewn in, like, booster strap design. It has a cam on it where you can really cinch it down. And then the nice thing is to take it off, you can just kind of undo the buckle like that for getting in and out. Most importantly, whenever we talk about a boot, it's for touring, so we talk about range of motion. This has 61 degree range of motion, which for any boot out there, that's really solid. It's always interesting how that range of motion transitions to you walking around in it. I found that I could walk in the boot really easily and I was utilizing most of that 61 degrees. So for fit being super important, I really like to describe what I'm feeling in a boot. When I saw this super low, uh, like lower height, I was a little dubious that it was going to really grab the foot. It measures 100 in the last, so it's about an average width. But once I was in the boot, I didn't actually feel any pressure up or down. Uh, I think they've just really found a way to sculpt the plastic down and make it way more foot shaped. The heel pocket is one of the greatest parts about this boot. I, I've had a lot of Scarpa boots over the years. The early lightweight boots would really dig into the heel because there was such a pronounced heel pocket. This one, I haven't felt any pain in my tours in it, but I also feel the heel get mobilized. A lot of boot brands out there will just kind of make a generic uh, heel pocket and you can barely feel it and that's what kind of results in that heel lift. Um, the one thing I did notice was that the boot board feels to be a little bit curved on the bottom, so you can almost feel a little pressure as your foot sits into the lowest part of that boot. But it does come with a fully heat moldable Intuition liner, so I was able to get out little deficiencies like that with just like a 10 minute heat mold. And with the Grip Walk sole, it's gonna interface with way more bindings. It'll work with any kind of marker kingpin, Solomon Schiff binding, but it's also even going to work with a new Grip Walk compatible Alpine binding. Marker and Solomon make some really good options. So this could end up being your boot for skiing the resort every day. Uh, with that, the interesting part is when we put it on the scale, it actually comes in at about 1500 grams. One of the most confusing things to keep track with Scarpa is they probably have about 21 models of boots from their heaviest to their lightest. This is up there, but it's really very comparable to a regular Mistrali, and we actually found that it weighs about 30 grams less than even their Mistrali XT. So again, you're getting that Alpine overlap, you're getting the grip walk sole, and all of that, you're coming in at a really light 1500 gram package in a 27.0 shell. So it's going to be one of our favorites in that grip walk category, just because with the ski ability you're getting out of it, you're not sacrificing anything on the uphill. Thanks again from Cripple Creek Backcountry and myself. That's the Scarpa Quattro. Check it out this year.